Hi Virgo, welcome to your June horoscope reading. My name is Siobhan with Ducati and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be doing the June horoscopes with the overall energy, the obstacle and opportunity, the insight and guidance, and the potential outcome for this month. So this reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you just felt called to click on this video, keep in mind that these are general readings, so not everything's going to apply to everyone, just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so let's see what is going on for you Virgos in June. All right, what is the overall energy for Virgos in June 2021? Look at that. You have the High Priestess matching the mug that I wanted to use today. Voila, the High Priestess mug. Actually, this is the Into the Unknown mug. On the other side is the Moon card. If you guys are interested, I've got those mugs down below in my Teespring shop. Okay, what is the obstacle and opportunity this month? Oh, you have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Doing a lot of thinking this month, Virgos. Uh, what is the insight and guidance? Well, that was fast. Six of Pentacles. All right, there's the Earth energy showing up. And what is the potential outcome? Okay, again, really fast. The Death card. Okay, well, Virgo, this looks interesting. So you have... The High Priestess is your overall energy, which I'm quite surprised at um, because, you know, normally Virgos, you're very feet on the ground type of people and there's a beauty in that, you know, being very grounded in the practical and the physical and you're so productive and able to get things done and so organized. And I really actually admire that about you as a, as a Pisces son myself. I tend to struggle with some of those things. So I absolutely love that about Virgos. You're always so prepared and, <laughs> and so organized. You know, not always, but for the most part. But the High Priestess here is this very kind of fluid, psychic, receptive, intuitive energy. It's very ethereal and otherworldly it's fantasy it's you know the imagination the mental realm but like to the to the moon and back so this is kind of the opposite of your energy and that's why i'm surprised to see this here but i feel like you some of you guys are stepping into this energy in a really big way and you're going through um it's almost like a transformation of the spiritual realm that's going to shift how you operate in the physical some of you might be going through another phase in your spiritual awakening there's many different stages and many phases as you expand your consciousness and this might be a month where some of that starts to to take place even more so than than before the <clears throat> obstacle and opportunity that you have this month is the ace of wands and the queen of swords so i love these together because it just really screams you know let's get stuff done <laughs> i'm ready to tackle whatever is um, put in front of me if there's an obstacle if there's an opportunity i'm going to grab it and i'm going to create something amazing from it I really feel this sense of growth from you this month, Virgo. So whatever it is that you are going through or you're thinking of or you're building or you're working on, you are growing quite quickly. Some of the information is still behind the scenes. Some of that growth is still, uh, it's like it's in the ethers and it hasn't been grounded into the physical reality yet, but that growth is happening nonetheless. The insight and guidance you have this month is the Six of Pentacles. So this speaks of balancing your finances, maybe even doing some charitable giving, if that's something that screams your name this month, if that's something that you, you want to do and you have the finances or the funds to do it. But this could also be about um, just kind of reassessing how you, how you assign value is what I'm feeling. So how you assign value, what is valuable to you? Um, 
I don't know what's going on with the planet Venus this month, but I feel like there's something going on for you guys with Venus. So maybe check where Venus is in your chart. If you know your, your natal chart, go check that out. Um, there, Because Venus is the planet of beauty and material value and luxury and things like that. And I feel like there's something going on with Venus connected to how you spiritually and physically unite the concept of value if that makes sense yeah so there's some kind of a shift in your thinking and this could impact how you how you take action um, because your goals might change as you spiritually you know expand and evolve you have the death card as the potential outcome so yeah, I really feel like there's a big shift happening for you this month. There's a big, potentially an ending, but I, I don't see this as like an external ending. I don't think that this is something outside of you that's ending. It feels very, very internal to me. So this is more so something that you're, you're going through a death and a rebirth within yourself. There's an old part of you that's dying um, I'm not dying, but being let go of an old part of you that's no longer really relevant or aligned with where you're going or what your new beliefs are. And, and because of this mind expansion, because of this new sort of consciousness, because of this esoteric information that you're getting access to from within or without, it's shifting how you think about things. And again, it's like the value here as well. The death card really makes you reassess your values. It's like, you know, this is just a metaphor. This isn't something literal that I see for you guys this month, but like somebody who goes through a near death experience, they really reevaluate what is valuable to them in their life. You know, money is maybe less important than time, than health, than connections with other people. So there could be some reassessment going on in, in that sort of realm. Let's get some more insight into this energy with the oracle cards here as well. I also recommend that you watch this reading again at the end of the month if you're watching it at the beginning. That way you can get an idea of how the energy actually ended up playing out on the physical plane. It can be helpful to look back because it's like, you know, hindsight is 2020. That's when we can actually put the pieces of the puzzle together. So Virgo, oh, that's fast. Again, you're, there's very fast energy. All of your cards are like very decisive, jumping out right away. From world to world. Yes, exactly. Goddess, Saraswati, and Ammonite. So from world to world, it's like you are transitioning from one world to another. It's the bridge between the spiritual world and the physical world. And there's some kind of uh, a revelation happening there or a cycle that's, that's taking on um, the next phase in its growth. Oh my God, look at all these. Again, very forceful, direct energy that you guys are, are coming up with this month. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, so I knew it was something to do with value. Already there is value. Yeah, so you're reevaluating your value system th this month. Um, Goddess Matangi and Heliotrope. Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be an insight that comes in. My eyes being drawn to that little bird in the corner. It's kind of like a, a spirit bird. You, there's gonna be insight that comes in from the spirit realm this month for you and it shifts your level of consciousness and it expands your concept of reality and because of that you start to reevaluate things and to really <laughs> go off of that you have her eye ever open and the vision so yeah your your clairvoyant abilities may be opening up you may be getting a lot of channeled information intuitive information um, again, that's what the high priestess rules and these two cards represent that as well. So your third eye might be opening or going through a next level activation. There's going to be lots of inspiration from spirit coming through. You might have a different vision for what you want to create with your life. There may be opportunities to actually take action on a new vision that you have as well and create something from that. Beautiful. 
And then you have the untamed, goddess Freya and Amber. The untamed. Yeah, there's something very wild about this, very forceful. It's like this energy really knows what it wants. It's very direct. And even though that may seem like it's organized and efficient, such as, you know, the Virgo energy tends to be, it's also very wild and untamed and fluid, which is, again, very connected to that high priestess energy. It's like, it's raw, it's guttural, it is visceral, you know, this is <clears throat> an experience that is, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, they're showing me the universe. Oh my God, this is so crazy. So they're showing me the universe and how wild and untamed it all seems, you know, like planets crashing into planets and big balls of gas like rolling around in space and like all of this crazy stuff. But then they're like, no, but there's underlying order. There's underlying order to everything. There's a reason, there's a purpose, there's a system, there's a structure, there's a consciousness, there's an intelligence that rules over it all and lives within it all. So yeah, these are some really, really deep, profound spiritual you know, information that you're tapping into, experiences that you're having. You're going through some pretty big awakenings right now. It's beautiful. I'm really happy to see that for you, Virgo. So let's see what else is coming through from the Moonology deck. Yeah, it's like you're going to have like a spiritual experience. And it's kind of going to shape shake up the way that you you go about life. I can relate to that. I've definitely been there. That's what made me change my job and my career to this <laughs> okay so let's see what else is coming through for virgo oh yeah oh baby virgo you guys step out of your comfort zone and this is the north node the north node is your destiny this is your future potential this is opportunity that has that is set up and aligned for you going down the road. So this is fated, this is destined, this is the type of thing that is preordained. And that doesn't mean that you don't have free will. It means that your free will has activated this opportunity, this checkpoint, this activation. You're being activated. Your switch is being turned on. You're awakening. You're expanding your mind. You're gaining consciousness. You're raising your vibration. You're connecting. You are an infinite being. Step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, there's going to be some opportunities for you to do that this month. It's going to change your value system, this, this type of awakening. It's going to change what you want to do. And you might be stepping into a whole new world which is gonna be a little out of your comfort zone, but it's going to be protected, it's going to be divinely guided, and you'll feel the pull to do it because a win-win outcome is forecast. Yes, it is, Virgo. When you get into alignment with your soul and how you can express as a divine soul being in this lifetime, not just as a person, oh my God, how things work out for you. Getting into alignment feels like Harry Potter when he takes the Felix Felicis, the, the Lux Serum. Go watch that, uh, that clip on YouTube or something like that after this if you haven't seen it, but if you know what I'm talking about. It's like everything just aligns for him. He, he trusts his intuition. He goes where, even though he, has like, he had a plan of action, it was to go and do, do something else. But then his intuition is like, nope, we're going to go over here and this is why. And everything just kind of works out in a win-win type of way. So this is the kind of thing that can happen. It's not luck. It's alignment. When you get into alignment, everything flows easier. And what you value changes and then that value comes in in droves. So if, if you start to value 
your energy more, you get more energy. If you start to value um, the freedom that money can bring in a spiritual aspect, then you'll receive more of that. So whatever it is that you align with at the soul level, you will expand exponentially this month. Wow, powerful. I'm so happy to see that for you guys. Virgo, this is awesome. I wasn't expecting that. So let me know how this energy plays out for you. If you watch this at the end of the month again or um, throughout, and if you already know how this has been playing out, let me know. Um, but And also if you need any assistance, if you're going through this and you don't really know what your next step is, or if you're looking to figure out who you are at soul level, how you can align your energy and how you can manifest all that kind of stuff, please reach out to me at services.tokittyandbeyond at gmail.com. I do readings like this where we can get more guidance. I also am a clairvoyant Reiki master practitioner where I see into the energy field and connect at soul level to do soul level healing um, in the seven main chakras. And I also do soul realignment sessions using Akashic record reading to identify who you are at soul level, where you come from, like the soul group of origin, and where you're at consciously right now, how you can manifest more what positive choices look like for you and any karmic blocks and restrictions that are holding you back from being this divinely expressed being that you are really seeking to become or that you are already but you could be more of so let me know if any of that resonates and again all the information for my services will be in the description box below this video you can email me for uh, bookings and whatnot also check out my girl savannah over at vibe tribe notions i will leave her etsy page down below it's not an affiliate or a paid promotion i just love her stuff and and her she's a friend and a client so i'll leave the link for that as well down below thank you so so much for watching guys for supporting the channel i love you and we will see you next month Bye.